Oh my god, guys, I was literally recording and then I realized the mic wasn't on. <sighs> okay, guys, um, today we are doing something that I've been putting off doing for a long time now, and I don't know why it took me so long to finally pull the trigger, but today I'm finally declaring my major. A lot of you guys know that I've been really into mechanical and aerospace engineering for the past year and a half. Um, I'm looking very much to work in NASA and um, I mean, and obviously I'm excited to make this next step in my journey. So, t okay, I realized that joke wasn't getting anywhere. I'm kidding guys, I'm doing economics. Um, so yeah, let's just log into the website. Well, that was easy. Um, so as far as why I decided to major in economics, that's what today's video is going to be about. And yeah, let me just dive into it and not waste any time. Number one, obviously Princeton is top tier for the economics department. It's got one of the greatest in the country, if not the world. So for me to do something practical and usable in any type of field that I'm going to be pursuing in the future is really just looking for the long-term benefits for myself and for any type of job that I plan to pursue. You know, when I first came in, I really wasn't considering economics as my primary choice of study, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized how practical it could be. And once again, just help me reap the long-term benefits of this investment that I'm making for the next four years and getting a college education. It also just gives me a high level of understanding of a variety of different fields that will benefit me if I try and go into media, entertainment, starting a business in the future. All these skills and the things that I'm going to be learning over the next few years are just going to be beneficial in any type of industry once again. And I think a big thing about a Princeton education and something that's you know very important for any type of student to do is obviously a junior paper and a senior thesis. I don't know if any other school really has this, but every junior and senior here, depending on your major, are required to write a senior thesis of a about, depending on the department, 50 to 100 to even 150 pages um, around one special topic and then a junior paper which is just a smaller version of that. But you know, writing a thesis is not a small thing. It's a big accomplishment to have, not just for future employees, but to yourself to say that you did the research, you gathered data, and you brought an addition to the academia world. And I think another reason that I decided not to major in anything else is that there really isn't anything else for me to do here. I've looked at all the different majors and none of them offer me a really creative outlet or something that I can um, really find myself passionate about. And not that I'm loving economics or like absolutely am passionate about it, but it's once again, just a very practical thing for me to do that it's hard for me to justify doing anything else, whether it's visual arts or creative writing, or I even considered French and Italian for a little bit, but you know, I didn't come to Princeton to get a visual arts degree, and that's not to say anything about people who are getting a visual arts degree here, because I know tons of great artists, but for me, as someone who's always been self-taught and realized that I could learn anything through YouTube tutorials or practice by doing, um, just being in a creative classroom for photography or film almost limits my creativity and stifles me from, you know, reaching my full potential because I'm always being critiqued or telling what I can and can't do. And for an artist, that's just not a good boundary to have. And obviously I understand the difference between constructive criticism and just criticism, but you know, the types of content that I'm creating, I, I feel that I don't necessarily need to be doing a whole major in that, much less a Princeton degree when I have so many other options that I can be pursuing. Now, since Princeton is a liberal arts school, that means that they enjoy having a wide variety of subjects and matters that you need to know about. So a big thing about a Princeton education is that every student is required to take distribution requirements which fulfill things like a math class for your quantitative reasoning, a science class, a epistemology and cognition and ethics and morals class. The good thing is they have a wide variety of classes that you can take to fulfill those distribution requirements but at the same time it just gives you a wider breadth of study and at first it was a little bit annoying because I was like, why am I taking a math class if I don't need it in the future? But you know, forcing yourself to take things out of your comfort zone will once again just give you more understanding of the world and will help you be apply new topics of interest that you may not have known before. It's also a relatively doable course load. It's not the hardest at Princeton, it's not the easiest, meaning that I'm still going to have time to do my other things that I have going on for myself. And to be honest, it may be at a point where, you know, 
my extracurricular passions become my priority, but at the same time, economics is still an important thing that I'm going to be focusing a lot of time and energy in, more so than I have been doing right now, because I think once I get older, the more I'm going to be taking classes that I'm interested in, get closer with my professors, have an actual JP and a thesis to work on, and having those goals and tangible things that I need to accomplish will just give me a lot more motivation than what I'm feeling right now when I'm taking the introductory classes and I'm not too interested in the topics at all. I am also getting a certificate in entrepreneurship, which is essentially a minor in that the requirements for that were only two prerequisite courses which I've already taken and for me to get a certificate in entrepreneurship will just allow me more opportunities to pursue entrepreneurial endeavors while I'm here but also utilize the resources of a Princeton certificate program meaning that they're going to hopefully be able to fund future projects or anything else that I'm going to be working on. I considered doing a visual arts degree but Number one, I missed the deadline. And number two, once again, I just feel like a lot of the things that I am doing, I don't need a, a department itself really to um, help facilitate that, if that makes sense. To be honest, guys, that about wraps it up. I don't think this is a huge deal, but obviously it's a pretty important thing for me to declare for the next two years. So I figured I would make a video about it because a lot of you guys have been asking why I'm doing economics. And obviously those are my reasons. Let me know if you guys have any more questions in the comments down below. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, don't stress. Finesse.